Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are in lecture 3, Entity Relationship Model Part 1. In this lesson, we will take a look on entity and also the relationship. ERM or Entity Relationship Model is assisted as to explore the different ways the entities can relate to each other as they always do in the real world. ERM also is used to devise a way of recording, of diagramming the entities and the ways in which they interrelate in a business environment. The things that you need to know in order to construct the ERM are Entity, Relationship and also the Attribute. Entity is a thing or object in our environment that we want to keep track of. For example, in university's environment, we want to keep track of the student. Entity type, a group of objects with the same properties, which are identified by the enterprise as having an independent existence. Entity set is a collection of entities of the same type. If we have multiple students in our class, then we can say they are entity set of type student. Entity occurrence means a uniquely ident identifiable object of an entity type. Let's take a look at this example. This is how actually we draw the entity in our diagram. The entity type here is salesperson. It has to be drawn in rectangular shape. Name of entity is in caps above the separator line. Attributes are list inside the box. And you must have a primary key for each entity. Relationship type is a set of meaningful associations among entity types. Each relationship type is given a name that describes its function. Relationship occurrence is a uniquely identifiable association which includes one occurrence from each participating entity type. So this is an example of semantic net view of the relationship. And this is a diagrammatic view. Each relationship must have a name. Let's take a look on degree of relationship. It is defined as number of participating entities in relationship. The first relationship of degree is binary. Binary relationship means two different entities are connected to one relationship. For ternary relationship, we have three different entities connected to one relationship. And for quaternary, we have four different entities connected to one relationship. Let's take a look on this example. This example is based on HR schema in Oracle Express Edition. The first entity that we have here is employees. Inside employees, the primary key is employee ID. The next one, we have a department's entity. Inside department's entity, there's a primary key of department ID. The relationship between departments and employees is one department will have many employees. So we have known each relationship, you need to have one foreign key. Where to put the foreign key? At many side of the constraint. So the foreign key is a primary key of another table that they attach to. Now, they attach to departments. The primary key is department ID. Then of course, the foreign key inside employees is department ID. Let's consider to have another entity named locations. The PK or the primary key is location ID. One location consists of many departments. So one relationship, one FK, foreign key. Where to put the foreign key? We will put the foreign key in the many side. What is a foreign key? Primary key of the table that they attach to. So the table that they attach to now is location ID. 
passport so primary key location ID hence the foreign key inside the departments is location ID recursive relationship is a relationship type where the same entity participates more than once in different roles if we take a look at the example this entity staff is attached to itself with a different role name the primary key of staff is staff ID when there is a relationship there must be a foreign key as we know since the entity is attached to itself the foreign key is being placed inside the same entity which referring to the primary key of the same table but in an entity no attribute name can be the same if we put the fk as staff id it will be wrong hence we could change the foreign key's name to become supervisor id based on its role but we know this supervisor id is actually referring to staff id in the same table now let's take a look on the implementation let's say we have the staff relation we have staff id staff name salary and supervisor id now we need to find city's supervisor's name if we take a look city supervisor name is lily how can we get the answer from the question let's take a look city supervisor is 104 as we know this supervisor id is referring to the staff id as they have a recursive relationship now let's find who is 104 104 the name is lily hence we know city supervisor's name is lily get the concept of recursive relationship now let's take a look at entities associated through two distinct relationships with role names in database design what makes the design complex is not about number of, of entities that they have but it is about the relationships between the entities based on this example we have staff entity and branch entity the first relationship is branch has many staffs so one relationship need to have one foreign key where to put the foreign key foreign key is always put at the many side of the relationship hence we know foreign key is inside the staff table so what is the foreign key branch id relationship here is branch is managed by staff means for each branch there is a manager for one-to-one -one relationship you can put the foreign key at the entity that is more suitable in this case we put manager ID as the foreign key inside table branch why do we put foreign key not as staff ID because we want to indicate the role of the relationship for manager who manage a branch so I guess that's all for now see you again in the next part thank you